Welcome, everyone, to Gospel Faith TV. We're taking the gospel to the world. This month, our focus is saving the lost. And we are going into the streets. Everyone say, yeah. yeah. We are going in the streets in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To so ask these questions. Are you a Christian? Are you saved? Are you a believer? Are you a follower of God? Would you ever go into a church? Oh my God. Is the church relevant for you? GFTV would like all the barriers to be broken in Jesus' name. What is your barrier to being saved? And for the next three weeks, we're focusing on barriers, barriers to a church. We would like to hear from you. What are the factors that allows churches to have barriers to people being saved? We're breaking down those barriers in Jesus' name. Guess what, guys? We live in a world where we're in serious times. The church needs to pull down the barriers so that the world can see the Christ inside us. Now, guys, guess what? Tonight, we are having Latania. She's coming to bring a song to you. So right now, invite a friend. Like us, follow us, subscribe to us, because guess what? We're coming live right now to you. Latania, let's go. God bless you. We just give you praise and honor, Lord. We just worship you tonight. We just lift your name high, higher than every other name. We just Shabbat you, Lord, because you deserve all the glory. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. For I Spirit and love as we sing holy, 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 as we sing holy, 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 I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power. Sing holy, 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 as we sing holy, 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 I want to see you, I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. 
Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you You can tell the Lord tonight Open the eyes of my heart, Lord Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you God bless God. We thank God today. If any time we want to see the Lord, it's now. So we're asking you to open your eyes so that we can see the Lord high and lifted up, shining in the light of His glory. So right now, we're bringing on a man of God. I've known Pastor Lebon for some time now, and I'm so happy that we connected. So right now, is coming to, to bring the word of God to you. Please share, subscribe, and follow us. Here comes Minister Apostle A. J. Labon. Praise God for him. Hallelujah, saints. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for his greatness. We thank the Lord for his blessing. We thank the Lord for all that he has done and for also this door of opportunity. One scripture that I love very much is when Paul said, pray that the Lord will open up new doors. And I know that this is a new door that has opened right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I greet everyone that are here. This afternoon, I greet Brother Rowan and keyboard players, special singers, all the technicians and operators that are here, and most of all, those that are tuning in on the different platform of this social media. We greet every one of you, and we also greet the Greater Bethlehem Ministry that are online with us this night. My assignment here tonight is to speak about the lost soul the lost soul and we know that Jesus died for the lost soul and so let's pray Father we thank you for your word we thank you for the singer we thank you God for the ministries we thank you Holy Spirit oh God for all that you're going to do in the lives of your people Lord the writer just sing open the eyes of the blind father that is the reason why we're here today is that the eyes of your people will be open and yoke will be broken and the enemy will be defeated i thank you now in jesus name and everybody say amen well we're not here tonight to bury the dead we are here tonight to have church <laughs> praise the name of the lord i want to go to the word of the lord from the book of Acts chapter 4 and I'm going to read from verse 8 
down to 12. And it said, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we today are being examined concerning a good deed done to a crippled man, how this man has been healed to be it known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. Somebody say amen. amen. Who God raised from the dead. By him, this man stand before you. Holy. And verse 11 said, he is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. But verse 12 said, there is no salvation. Somebody say glory to God. In any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be what? Saved. I understand tonight my team for this assignment is dealing with the lost soul. Number one, we must first understand. Understand that Jesus came that everyone to be saved. He died for you and I that none of us should perish. In other words, the word of God said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. In other words, he gave us an invitation. And the invitation is that whosoever will. So it is not his will that any man should perish. When someone decided, hallelujah, that they don't want to serve God for whatever reason, we understand that there are many others that are there that will think that, we can make it without God. But we have to understand according to the scripture that Jesus is the builder. Hallelujah somebody. He is the chief cornerstone. There is no way and there is no other way that you and I can be saved. Somebody praise the Lord. There is no other way that you and I can be saved but through the name of Jesus Christ. Hello somebody. And so the word of God, hallelujah, has defined that the Bible said that Peter was filled with the Holy Ghost. We understand if we are going to make it in today's well, hallelujah, we have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We understand that the body of Christ, there are so much people, hallelujah, are being turned off, God, hallelujah, by the church. But you must understand that the Bible also indicates that Jesus said upon this rock. Hallelujah. I will build the church. We got to understand that it's not a building. Hallelujah. We understand that there are many other things that are going on. But Jesus said upon this rock, I will build the church and the what the gates of hell hallelujah shall not prevail against it we must understand that it is God's will that you will be saved that you will not lost it is God's will that you will make it and that's why when Peter was filled with the Holy Ghost somebody praise the Lord with me when he was filled with the Holy Ghost he was he was destroyed Destroying the barriers. He was destroying all kind of different, hallelujah, names and different other, hallelujah, things that people were dealing with. And what he was dealing with, he was dealing with one name. And that name is the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said in Acts chapter 4, Peter said to the rulers, and while he was dealing with the rulers, he started to deal with the people. He started to deal with the elders. He started to deal with Israel. 
And he was saying, we must first examine ourselves. We got to first look in ourselves. Hallelujah. And so if the church is going to reach the lost, glory to God, we cannot do it by self. Come on, somebody. We cannot do it by all kind of technology. We got to do it in the word of God. For it's the word of God. Hallelujah. That man can come to Jesus Christ. Somebody out there, bless the Lord with me. It is the word of God that you will find salvation. It is the word of God that you will be led by the Holy Spirit. And so what Peter was doing, he was not dealing with himself. He was dealing with the hallelujah. He was dealing through the Holy Spirit. And the Bible said he was what? Filled with the Holy Ghost. And being filled with the Holy Ghost, he said, let us now examine ourselves. We can look at today and we can say, hallelujah, we cannot just reach people by just staying the four corners but we have to examine ourselves we have to seek the Lord and by seeking him we have to ask God to lead us because there are so many things and there are so many others that have been turned off but through God we can do all things somebody somebody help me to bless the Lord here this afternoon Peter said let us examine ourselves because this is a good deed and by doing this good deed, it is done to what? A crippled man. When somebody said that they don't want to serve the Lord, we understand that they're in a crippled position. They're in a place in their life that they just don't know other, no other way. And so when we look at this word today, Jesus, hallelujah, was being introduced, hallelujah, through Peter. And by introducing through Peter, he let them understand that if you refuse the, the stone, hallelujah, which is the builder, we must understand that Jesus is what? He is the builder. He is the true builder. He is the only stone. He is the only one. And so if we are going to reach the loss, we got to let others know that the stone the builder rejected now. It's going to be that stone on judgment day. And so my brothers and sisters as we are hearing this word today, it is my will that no one should perish. And as, the, as this brother and his team go by the roadside as the word of God said in Matthew 28, we must go by the roadside and bid them to come. Because there is a lost soul out there. There is somebody who has been strong on drugs. There is somebody who is strong in prostitution. There is somebody who has been down. It might be also a backslider. But I came here this afternoon to let you know that Jesus is the way. You may have turned off, hallelujah, from religion. But it's not about religion. It's about the name of Jesus. Can somebody praise the Lord? Hallelujah. So the word of God said there is no other name. In other words, there is no other salvation. I know that there are people that they will choose other things to fulfill their needs. Some will look to other gods. But as we are dealing with this week or through the next three weeks, as my brother said, we're dealing with the lost soul. Jesus came that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Somebody bless the Lord here. And so the word of God said there is no other, hallelujah, there is no other salvation in any other. Glory to God. So don't care where we look. Some may be look at drugs. Some may look at women. Some may look at Buddha. Some may look at Krishna. Some may look at, hallelujah, their money. But I came here this afternoon just to encourage somebody that Jesus is the only one that you can be saved. Hallelujah, somebody. I was looking at the word. Hallelujah. In, 
in Isaiah 55. Glory to God. The word of God said, hallelujah, in Isaiah 55, it said, oh, everyone who thirst come to the water. There is a thirst that is going on today. But I came here this afternoon just to encourage somebody. Glory to God, there is still help. Oh, somebody worse, bless the Lord with me. There is still hope. There is still life. And even though you may feel down and feel discouraged and said, I will not find myself in a church. Hallelujah, right where you are today. Glory to God. He can save you in your bedroom. He can save you on the job. He can save you in the, the car. You may have turned off. Hallelujah from all that is going on. But I came to tell you that Jesus Christ is still the way. And so the prophet Isaiah said, Oh, everyone who are thirst, come to the water. There is a thirstiness going on today. We're seeing it everywhere we turn. There are some that are confused and don't know where to turn. There are some that are asking the question, what should I do? But I hear to say to someone today that the answer is in Christ. For in Christ, the solid rock, we stand. And all other ground is what? Sinking sand. And so Isaiah said in Isaiah 55, he said, and you who have no money. That's what I love about God. Hallelujah. We're living in a time that everything is about money. But salvation, hallelujah, is not about money. It's about believing God and accepting his word. Glory to God. And so Isaiah said, hallelujah, you don't need no money. You just have to come as you are. I know that there are others that will return up and say, well, I can't go to church because I may not have this and I may not have that. But don't look at the outward. Jesus, look at the heart. He wants you to come as you are. You may be broken. As I said in, in, in Acts 4, Peter was dealing with the crippled man and he was dealing with the rulers. I know that there is all kind of segregation. I know that there are others that look down on others and say you're not in the clique. But the greatest thing, Jesus loves you. Jesus cares about you. He cares about your, hallelujah. He cares about everything about you and all you got to do is come as you are. You may be wounded. You may be down. You may feel like nobody cares. But I know somebody. Will somebody just worship the Lord wherever you are? He loves you. And that's why Isaiah said you don't need no money. Come by. For there is an invitation. In other words, this is an invitation. That has been given. And you don't have to have anything. Come as you are. And then he said, hallelujah, you don't need money to buy and eat. He provide for you. Glory to God. He said, come buy wine. He's going to, hallelujah, refresh you. He's going to refill you. He's going to build you. He's going to bless you. And so as you, hallelujah, you hear the word today. Glory to God. And you may feel like, hallelujah, this is it. But I came here as God's anointed servant just to tell you that there is hope. There is a table spread for you. And on that table, he wants to give you his wine. He want to give you his meat. He want to give you his milk. Glory to God. And you don't need no money. You don't need any fancy car. You don't need nothing. Because the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all oh, somebody help me to worship the Lord wherever you are and all his righteousness I know society let it make it make it feel like hallelujah that you have to have hallelujah certain things to come to church but I love God he wants you to come he wants you to come 
wounded and broken. And when he come, when you come, he's going to pick you up. Glory to God, somebody. He's going to buy you. He's going to bondage you. He's going to turn you around because he is your savior. He is your resurrector. He is the healer. He is the anointed one. Glory to God, somebody. All you got to do is just trust the word of God. Because he is your savior. He is your deliverer. He is your keeper. Oh, glory to God, somebody. He is your way maker. And because he has spread a table, because he has made the way, oh, somebody just worship the Lord. He made the way when there is no other way. And when there is no other way, he's going to let you know you can make it. Hallelujah. You may be that backslider. And you have said, well, for the past year, with all this pandemic, Ah, nobody cares about you. Nobody calls you. But can I just remind you, he was right there. He kept you from all that is going on. And it says time for you to get up and arise. You may be like Elijah, sat under the juniper tree, requesting to give up. But I stopped by the studio just to tell somebody that Jesus sent a word to let you know it's time to arise hallelujah and said enough is enough I feel God in this place hallelujah the word of God said that there was a prodigal son and I'm just running the prodigal son after leave home in Luke 15 you can read you can read it in Luke 15 in verse 17 and 18, the Bible said that this prodigal boy, he have, hallelujah, he was grown up in the church. And there are many of you today that have been, hallelujah, have been in the, in the category of being a lost soul. You may have grown up in the church. You may have been hurt. You have been turned off. Glory to God. But I came here to tell you, we serve a forgiving God. We serve a living God. Sorry, we serve a loving God. One that cares about you. The prodigal boy have to leave home. Somebody which his father were praying. That's why I believe in prayer. Don't stop praying. Somebody's praying for you. That's why I'm here today. Because the assignment that I'm on. Because somebody's praying. And God allowed that prayer to reach my brother Ron. So that I'll be here today to declare the word to that lost soul. To let you know that there's hope. God. The prodigal boy said, I will arise. Hey, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. The Bible said he left home, spent all that he had with righteous living. Hallelujah. Live all kind of life. But when everything is finished, the Bible said he joined himself to a citizen of country. And after he joined himself, the citizen turned him to the swine. He turned him to the pig pen. But I came here to tell somebody that whatever state you are today, there is still hope. There is still life. It's not over. It's not over. Somebody said in this, hallelujah, it's with me. It's not over. Hallelujah. He came to save the lost. He came to reach the lost. He came to turn you around. He came to pick you up. He came to stand by your side. I came here to tell somebody today. The young man get up and said, I will arise. I will go back to my father and I said father I'm not worthy to become your son but make me a higher servant the father look at him and says son you're a son I came here to tell somebody if God is with you I don't care what comes you are still destined to make it somebody you're still destined and as long as the seal is on you the father looked at the servant and said, bring me a robe. Hey, God, bring me a ring. Oh, hallelujah, I can hear those that, 
has given up on the church. Those that have given up on pastors. Those that have given up on people. I hear God is saying here to somebody today. Hallelujah. There is a ring. A ring mean I'm going to marry back to you. I'm going to receive you back. The robe mean I'm going to cover you. Somebody help me here. And after the robe, he said there is a feast. Somebody I came to tell you. It is not over. There is still life. Even the grave. What did he say to Ezekiel? In Ezekiel 37. He said can these bones live? I came to tell a backslider. I came to tell an unsaved. You must live. It's not over. There is a prophetic wind. It's going to blow. It's going to blow. And when it blow. Wherever you are. He's going to pick you up. He's going to take you back. To the next level. It is not over. For there is still hope. Hallelujah. There is still life to the wounded. There is still hope to the broken. There is still, hallelujah, forgiveness. Because he is a forgiving God. And so, according to the word, when the son came home, there was troubled. The brother, hallelujah, heard all what was going on. And he asked the question, what is going on? Glory to God. And the, hallelujah, the servant told him that your brother that was dead, he's, hallelujah, back. And the son get upset and said, after all the years... I've been here. My daddy didn't kill a cow. He didn't have a feast. But I came here to tell somebody, you better look, hallelujah. You better fix your face like a flint. You better look unto him who is the author and the finisher. Because why? Because so many times we look at others, but the only one we can look at is Jesus Christ. He he is our God. He is our Redeemer. And so I step by this studio just to tell somebody that you may feel down and feel like you're lost, but there's still hope. There is still hope. Can somebody say there is still hope? And once there is still hope, there is a way out. You know, and I'm closing, but the Bible said when Lazarus died, and I'm talking to that lost soul, hallelujah, you have give up on church. You have give up. But I came here to tell you that there is a way out. The scripture said in Acts 4, there is no, and verse 12, it said there is no other name that man can be saved. Through that name, Jesus Christ. Isaiah said, if you're thirst, you better come. Because God already paid it for you. That you will enjoy the blessing. And so you will not have no, you will, <coughs> sorry, you won't have excuse to say because of Mary Jane and Tom, that was the reason why. But I'm here to tell you today. That he already provides for you. He loves you. He cares about you. He cares about your soul. And so even in spite of whatever you're facing, some of me, may have you asked the question, if then, then if there is a God, why is it all this is happening? But I came here to tell you, hallelujah, he's still God. He's still God in the good time. Somebody worship the Lord. He's still God in the bad time. And I hear the writer said, hallelujah. No wonder David remind us. He said in everything we must do what? Give thanks. And because he's still God, he have never lost his rights. Hallelujah to the 
throne. That's why when God looked at him, he said, I highly exalt him. I've given him a name according to Philippians chapter 3. And at that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. So let me just remind you that this day, you have been given an invitation. You may feel like you're lost. You may feel like you're discouraged. You may have packed up your Bible and said no more church. But God brought it down to number five. And he bring it to number ten. Because he said we are the twos and the trees are gathered. There shall he be. Somebody help me to praise the Lord. He's right here in the studio. He's right there in your home. For the church belong. It begins in the home. And I came here this afternoon to remind that lost soul that there is a way that seemeth to a man. But I came here to tell you that at the end there is a judgment. But before the judgment came, he wants me to remind you. He wants the studio to take it from the church into the studio. Hallelujah, somebody. That you will know that at the name of Jesus, you must bow. You got to come to know him. You got to come to understand him. And if you have committed any sin, according to James chapter 5, he is a forgiver. He is a forgiver. But I understand a lot of folks leave church because there is no forgiveness. Some people hold you down. But you see, the Bible said, when Jesus set you free, you are free indeed. So you may have done something that people keep looking down at you. We all sinned. The Bible said, he who have no sin, let him cast the first stone. And today, I came to say to the, hallelujah, to that person that have considered himself that they are lost. And in other words, they may have, may, may have said to themselves they are not lost. Because when you're in a, in a position, it takes somebody else to tell you. Sometimes we are so much, hallelujah, in our own self and mind. And we come to a place that we, hallelujah, we said we don't need any help. But that's why God has allowed this, to, hallelujah, student and our brother, hallelujah, to reach you on the road and in the corners. Hallelujah, to let you know, hallelujah, that if you're not calling on the name of the Lord, if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are in the position of being a lost soul if you don't accept him and you don't know him if the word has been preached to you and you have gave up on the word and you have said there is no God then you're not hallelujah you're not admitting the truth because there is only one God his name is Jehovah his name is El Shaddai his name is Jehovah Nissi somebody help me here he's not Krishna he's He's not Buddha. He's not Confucius. Oh, somebody help me here. But what do you call him, Judea? His name is Jesus. And that's why Peter reminds us. In other words, he shut down the rulers. I was listening to Brother Rowan at the, at, in the beginning. And a part of his statement was, the others are saying that they don't want to go to church. We know that there's all kinds of things happening when it comes on. There's too much politics. But Peter had to shut the rulers down. And he had to say, let everyone examine themselves. Because we too were born in sin. We were shaping iniquity. In other words, it's because somebody prayed for us. It's because somebody fasted for us. That's why, I don't know about you, but that's why I am here today because somebody prayed for me. Somebody fast for me. Hallelujah. And at the age of nine, he touched my life. Glory to God. I don't say well, I, I'm perfect, but he kept me. Oh, no wonder the writer said, Jesus kept me. 
Hallelujah. And so he can keep you. Hallelujah, somebody. And so when Peter, hallelujah, have backed up the rulers and all the, the scribes and all the scorners and all those that were looking down on others, he said, let you examine yourself and stop criticizing because whatever I've done here today is a good deed. Some of you may be right now criticizing and say, what am I saying? What are they doing? What we are doing here today? is to help you to find Jesus Christ because according to verse 11 he said the stone the builder has been rejected has now become the kind of cornerstone glory to God whether you accept him now or accept him later he's still going to be God on that day and so all you got to do is come to the realization and say I surrender all to Jesus. All to him I freely give. He wants to become your daddy. He wants to become your friend like how we become Abraham's friend. And so today in my closing before I on this back, back to brother Rowan. I want to tell you that you may feel that you are lost. But Jesus sent this word to let you know. That the prodigal boy in Luke 15, he said, I was lost, but now I'm found. Today you are found wherever you are. You may be in a prison cell. It might not be a literal prison cell, but you may be in a prison cell in your mind. You may have come to a place where you have hit your financial bottom. And everything seems that it's over. But I came to tell you that there is hope. There is hope. And that's why Isaiah invites you to come to this feast. That's why I say you don't need nothing. Because everything is already paid. He said, why do you have to spend your own money? Jesus wants to take care of you. He wants to love you. He wants to be there for you. He wants to care for you. You may be broken. You may feel discouraged. But I came here today to speak to a backslider. I came here to speak to a lost soul. One that I've given up and said it's over. There is no hope. But as I said early on, Elijah came to that place. After he was chased by Jezebel, he said, I'm not even better than my father. Hallelujah. But he looked at himself. God made a way. He sent a raven and said, it's time to get up. I came here to tell somebody, it's time to get up. There is still hope. There is still hope. There is still hope. And to that last stone, you're not lost. Because the minute that God allow you to hear this word, it's because he has been searching for you. And today, he allowed this message. And this day, the 5th of June, that you will be found and that you will be given a second chance. You may be a pastor. You may be an evangelist. Oh, you may be an apostle. You may be a church worker. Whatever you are today, you may have been one that are brought up in the church and the door has shut on you. You say, no more church, no more God. Come on. I believe I would ask, if I ask the questionnaire, and take a questionnaire. Everyone probably say, I've get to that point. But there's one thing called prior. He'll pick you up. Hallelujah! Somebody help me to praise the Lord here right now. Come on, just wave your hand with me wherever you are. Hallelujah! He'll pick you up. He will turn you around. Glory to God, no wonder the writer said. He will plant your feet. Somebody help me here on higher ground. God sent a word to tell you today. There is still hope for that lost soul. There is still life. Oh, hallelujah. And if God be with you, oh, somebody help me. Who can be against you? God bless you, my brother. Oh, somebody help me here. Somebody help me. I feel God here, musician. Somebody help me. Oh, shut up. Hallelujah. God bless God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God. You know what? If you're watching today, hallelujah. 
is the highest praise. So if you feel like shouting, cry to God. God is here to answer your prayer. So whatever you're going through, if you are a backslider, uncertain where to go, God is saying, I am the God that healeth thee. I am the God that maketh the path straight. We're about to close. But before we close, we want you guys to understand and know where to follow us. Every single week, you must me a favor. Invite five friends to this bro broadcast. Invite your mothers, your sisters, your cousins, your aunts. Because, listen, there is a word for you. We're going to be bringing on Latanya again to end us in singing one more song. But before that, on the screen right there, it says, call us at 647 472 Eight two five. We want to hear from you. We want to know what it takes for you to be in the kingdom of the Lord. So guess what again? Follow us. Share this broadcast. Someone needs to hear this word. Latanya, please come. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. The apostle, the apostle said that the prodigal son came and he said i'll be a hired help but the father said you're a son and i'm so glad that i'm a son of god and that i'm a son just tell yourself that you're a son of god bless the lord bless his name just worship him where you are he lives in your praises hallelujah bless the lord we just worship you. You're more real than the ground I'm standing on. You're more. sing it one more time.
thank you, Jesus. We just worship him. We just worship him. Hallelujah. We skip out a program and we just go in the presence of the living God. We just dwell in his presence right where you are. Just submit to your Father. We glorify your name tonight. We thank you for what you are doing, God. We thank you for the doors that you have opened. We thank you, God, for what you have accepted, who have returned to your kingdom, Lord. You are worthy of all our praise. to pray for you. It is all good. As you've heard such a blessed song, blessed word today. And so I'm here to pray that you today will be seen by the Holy Ghost. That you will be covered in that whatever the adversary I thought Jesus is turning it around for you. And so I'm going to ask you to just 
pray this prayer with me right now. Even those that are here in the studio, just help me to say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I thank you for the word that I've been spoken. I ask you today to come into my heart. Receive me. I'm sorry for thinking and doing the things that I was doing. Save me, Lord. Save me. Thank you for the word. Thank you that I could be able to hear the word today. And I've now surrendered and I've gave my life to him. And I accept you, Lord Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you now for everyone that I've heard the word and I've received it and I've prayed that prayer. I pray, Lord God, that you will seal them in the Holy Ghost. I pray, God, that you will take them from wherever they are. And Lord God, that you will hold them in the palm of your hands. And that you, God, that you will bring them close to you. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, you say, he that winneth soul is wise. And so we thank you now for that backslider. We thank you for that lost soul that has come to know you. May you help them to read the word. And may you help them, Lord, to call this number right here. That our brother Ron and the others can lead them to somewhere. But Father, we thank you most of all that they have made you their choice. And the choice is to follow you and serve you. And so today we thank you, Lord, that you have touched them. And I've turned them around. And whatever the enemy has meant for evil, you have now turned it for good. We give you thanks for the Holy Ghost, the helper, the one who do it today. In Jesus' name I pray. And everyone say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank Jesus. Now guess what guys? Remember, invite your friends, your family members, everyone far and near. We have a word for you. Yes, we are in Toronto, Canada. We are streaming live every Saturday at 7 p.m. So don't miss it, right? Please go to the link, share and share and share. And guess what? We're bringing back again Latania to end this program. Please, please give your lives to the Lord. The Lord loves you. He wants to save you. Come on now. Give your lives to the Lord. Hallelujah. And I heard the song say that I am the Lord. That he let thee, I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word to heal your diseases. I am the Lord, your healer. I am worship you tonight we thank you tonight Lord for all that you have done 
we thank you tonight for all that you have done. We thank you, Lord. You are the healer. Yeah. You are the healer. Yeah. You are the healer. Thank you for this forum, God. 